the water drops that make the ocean. We see the waves come racing in, one after another like foaming steeds. The waters that roll and tumble in crested billows were not always in the sea. They were not always deep colored with purples and blues and greens, nor did they always break upon the shore with a roar like thunder. Even the water drops that crest a single wave were most of them born far away and very far from each other. They have traveled through many lands to their meeting place, the sea. Some of them came tripping along in merry little brooks that laughed and sang and ran races. Sometimes the merry little brooks leaped into each other's arms and journeyed along together, no longer little rills, but rivers marching with a sterner tread. I know a river that stopped to work on its way, and at night the stars came down with the new moon like a golden boat and sailed on its bosom. Many of the water drops that helped to make the sea waves were once imprisoned in great icebergs, but the sun came with a golden key and unlocked the icy prisons and set the water drops free. When they were free, they ran and ran until they could slip into the sea. No rill nor raindrop has been too small to help make the waves. The little waves run together and make the great billows that dash and roar. But the water in the brooks and rivers and raindrops was sweet and good to drink. The sea water is salt and bitter. That is because the water that has traveled through many lands has brought some of the salt and the bitterness out of the soil it has washed over. Every drop of water that travels to the sea brings something with it. If you take some of the sea water home with you and boil it, the water will vanish away in steam, but it will leave something behind. You will find left in the dish something that looks a little like snow. Taste it. It is salt and bitter like the sea water. If you can examine it with a magnifying glass, you will see that it is in little white flakes. They are in many shapes and are called crystals. The square crystals are salt. There are oblong crystals too. They are lime. There are other kinds of crystals left when the water travels away, and they are not shaped like the salt or the lime crystals. Every kind of crystal has its own shape. Little wave and crystal make a storybook all about a journey and the road they took.